What is up guys? So today I'm going to be showing you real quick how to port forward your Minecraft server. First thing you want to do, open up Google Chrome or whatever you know internet browser you're going to be using. Then what you want to do is open up your command prompt. So we're going to go down here, type in CMD. Sorry, my dog is in the background. He's not, he hears sounds. He's not too happy. Then what you want to do after that is type in IP config. Once you type that in, what you want to do is copy down your IPv4 and your default gateway, the number, the shorter number, not the uh, the really long one up top, the number just right below it right there. My default gateway is 10.0.0.1. Yours will probably be like 192.168.0.1. Um, you know, so something like that. All right. So then what you want to do is you actually want to go to that URL. So once you type that in, it'll bring you to your router information. Typically, the um, username and password will be on your router. So if you don't know it, go check out the default username and password on your router. So usually, it's something like admin, admin, password, password, or blank admin, blank password, something like that. Um, so if it's not on your router, try variations of that. Then, what you want to do is you want to find your port forwarding. For me, all I had to do is click over on advanced, and then port forwarding. Next, what we want to do is hit add service. All right, once that opens up, you wanna just type in service name. We're gonna put Minecraft, TCP UDP. This is where you wanna put your IPv4 that you saw before in your command prompt here. So that's where you put that in. The IPv6, don't touch that. Start port, you're gonna put 25565. That is Minecraft's default port. It has been that for over a decade now, actually. Um, and then end port 25565. It'll always be the same. You'll never have to do the scan unless you get a new router. Then what you wanna do is hit save. Once that's done, you are literally done. We're just gonna hit cancel though, because I already have one set up. You can see mine here. Then what you're gonna do after that is run your Minecraft server. So go in here and hit run. I've already got mine loaded up, as we can see. So now we're gonna test to see if it's online. To do that, all we gotta do is go Minecraft server status. We're gonna type in our IP, which if you don't know your IP, just go to whatismyip.com and it will tell you. It'll say it's your IPv4, um, but that's just your, like, your, your public um, versus your local, which is what we copied down earlier. So this IPv4 is different, just think of this as your IP. All right, so that's what you give to your friends to connect to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that and type it in here. Get server, st server status. And as you can see, my server's actually up. There's nobody on it. It shows that it's the current version of Minecraft. It shows the message of the day. Debug info, ping, yes. That's how, that's That'll show you if the server's up or not, right there. But also this information shouldn't come back if your server's not up anyway. So um, you, you won't see anything if your server's not up. It should give you like probably an error message or something. But anyway, that's how you port forward your Minecraft server. Super quick. I hope it helped you guys out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be making tons of Minecraft tutorials and videos. So stay forward. You know, stay. I hope you guys look forward to that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.